What's up, everyone? My name is Jacob Levicki. I cannot sing, dance, jump, throw, or catch, but I can talk, and that's why I'm here today. Like, when I was preparing for this event, they said, Jacob, all you have to do is stand up here on this carpet circle and talk. And I said, I can do that. But in hindsight, I'm pretty notorious for taking normal everyday activities and getting myself into a totally avoidable situation. For example, trampolines. I'm no longer allowed to jump on them because one time my neighbor bet me that I wouldn't jump out of her tree onto her trampoline and do a flip. And me, being someone who only makes the most logical of decisions, I did it. So I jump out of the tree, and immediately when I hit the trampoline, a flip is no longer an option because I was launched off, hit a nearby shed, hit the ground, almost broke my arm and face, but we're good. I'm still thriving. I managed to make it here today, and I don't see any trampolines here, so I think this is going to end a little bit better for me. But in all seriousness, though, I am here today giving this TED Talk. Because my life's mission is to help empower people to become the absolute best that they can be. I have brought with me two of my all-time favorite quotes. The first is from Steve Jobs, and it says that the only people who will ever succeed in changing the world are those who are crazy enough to believe that they can. And this quote really hit me because it is so true. Within each of us is the potential to literally change the world. We just have to unlock that potential. But the sad part is, the other reason this quote hit me is because I realized that there is an unacceptably large amount of people today who do not believe in themselves. And that's a real problem because if we do not believe, then we cannot achieve. And something must be done about this. The second quote is from a former United States Senate chaplain. And he says that a different world cannot be created by indifferent people. I believe that indifference is created when we are not motivated to achieve our dreams and when we do not have a positive self-perception. Unfortunately, in today's society, far too many people are willing to live indifferently. And something must be done about this as well. I am giving this talk because I would like to inspire people to believe in themselves and make a difference in a world of indifference. Therefore, I would like to share with all of you knowledge that I have gained throughout my life, which has empowered me to become my best self. I have learned that number one, by believing in yourself, you can be empowered to become your best self. Two, through a positive self-perception, we can create our own realities, which are filled with success and happiness. And three, the burden of success rests on our shoulders. It is our responsibility to step up and achieve our dreams and become our own greatest asset. But to achieve these goals, the questions we must answer are one, how can we be empowered to believe in ourselves? Two, how can we create a more positive self-perception? And three, how can we be motivated to achieve success? Let's take a look at answering that first question. How can we be empowered to believe in them ourselves? Number one, identify your gift and live within your gift. Many times we see people who are absolutely thriving and we think to ourselves, why am I not as successful as this person? What's wrong with me? But have you ever stopped and thought that maybe this person is so successful because they have identified their gifts and are living within their gift. In life, we must pursue our gift. Find something that makes you happy and keep doing it. Find what you love, find your gift. Number two in how to believe in yourself. Stand up in the face of things that scare you. If you can do this, you will become stronger and people who are stronger believe in themselves more. Imagine how strong you would be if all throughout your life, you spoke your being forward instead of avoiding the things that scared you. By this time, you would have moved mountains. In life, you must swing hard. And if you miss, just simply swing again because you can't strike out in life. So continue to swing until you hit that home run. Now let's answer that second question. How can we create a more positive self-perception? Number one, 
Do not confuse other people's perceptions of you with the way you perceive yourself. I would like to make it very clear that no matter how significant they are, no one else defines you. You define yourself. For far too long, many of us have allowed the opinions of others to trick us into thinking we are someone who we are not. And that has to stop. Because no one else on this earth will ever have a 100% picture of who you truly are. Therefore, they can't define you. No one knows us better than ourselves, and it is time for us to start listening to our own voices. It is also important to note that most people's judgments of you are actually a reflection of how they feel about themselves. It's not even about you. So when people hit you with that negativity, you just got to brush it up and keep moving forward. Also, do not allow toxic people to influence you. You are the CEO of your life, and you must fire and hire accordingly. Next, number two in how to believe yourself is become your own greatest asset. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet, but majority of our reality is created solely within our own mind. Therefore, in essence, if we choose to, we create the world around us because the only locked doors that exist are within our own mind. The greatest strength that you can ever display is the strength of true inner peace. Because we are in control of our emotions and actions, and we drink from our own sources. Let's make sure that they are good ones, and let's become our own greatest asset. And number three in how to believe yourself is to practice kindness over perfection. The most valuable currency on this planet is the ability to positively impact the lives of others. To me, this means that success is defined by what you give, not what you have. People are not going to remember what you said or did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. I encourage you all to choose kindness over perfection. Now, let's answer that final question. How can we be motivated to achieve success? Number one, stop making excuses. Never, ever give up. Seek, speak what you seek until you see what you've said. As you work to stop making excuses, just remember that there are countless people out there, less qualified than you, who are doing the things you want to do simply because they decided to believe in themselves and chose to stop making excuses. Because excuses are a choice and you do not have to have them in your life. And number two, Understand that you can do it. When you know deep down that you were born to do something, then there is no other option than to pursue it. You were born to do this, so go do it. You will not find true satisfaction if you don't, so please go do it. And finally, I would like to end by stating that there will never be a perfect time, so you must do it now. And even though these are simple words, does not mean this action is easy. In fact, doing it now may be one of the hardest things you ever do. And I know that there are some of you doubting yourselves, but here's the deal. No matter how many storms you have weathered, no matter how many adversities you have faced, you still have the ability to stand up and proclaim to the world that I will succeed no matter what. Because you will succeed no matter what. The only way we are ever going to find true satisfaction and happiness is by looking within ourselves, by getting our shovel out and beginning to create our own path towards success. And once we step foot on this path, our lives will be changed forever because this path was made by you for you. And if you keep on digging, keep on working, and continue to travel down this path, I guarantee it will lead you to the success that you I've been looking for. Everything I have shared with you today, it's real. This is no fairy tale. If we can be empowered to believe in ourselves, if we can create a positive self-perception, and if we can be motivated to achieve our dreams, then my friends, there is nothing that can stop us. So the question is, what do you need to do to create your own path towards success? Thank you.